You all right? Welcome to another excellent edition of the old DVD commentary. I'm only going to be doing half the video as commentary and then the second half you'll see the original reactions. Uh, that's because uh, there was some music playing at the start and a lot of the, uh, the good stuff happened at the end of the video. So uh, we'll get, uh, we'll get kick-started, shall we? Uh, this is uh, Shudder Shaman versus a, uh, a Reno lock. Uh, but it doesn't, doesn't end, it actually doesn't end with Shudder. Shudder, I believe, doesn't even get uh, played this game. So uh, this is won by a randomly generated card. One that I mentioned in my uh, buff review for Shaman. Uh, which I said would probably win a couple of games in uh, shutter matches. Uh, even before the buff, um, this worked out pretty well. So this is a pretty good hand for us. I tend to keep a lot of draw if I'm playing against a deck that I think isn't mid-range. So if I thought this guy was playing a zoo, I'd probably get rid of the likes of... Uh, um, what card draw would I get rid of? I'd probably get rid of Farsight. I'd still probably get rid of uh, Knowledge as well. Uh, but in this case, it's it's pretty good. So yeah, just uh, standard Beetle curved into uh, Mana Tide Totem. Classic. Because what we want to do is obviously find all of our uh, card draw, Totems, Frogs, early game and then transition into removal tra whilst playing combo pieces. That's you know it's typically how you play Shudder. Uh, so this is where we get the randomly generated card from Haunted Visions. I said before, like uh, the amount of times I've had Stormbringer from Haunted Visions is a lot. And that card um, at six mana is gonna be pretty good um, with this like type of deck for sure. I don't know if you'd use it in Even Shaman though. Even Shaman, I think, doesn't really need it. Uh, doesn't really need random legendaries. No, I don't think so. Because it's a dead card for most of the game, and uh, a lot of the late game, even shaman stuff, you wouldn't want to uh, change into a random legendary anyway. It's good for totems. Uh, so this guy uh, playing pretty slow. Uh, this is his first demon. Now I was debating whether to uh, hex this demon or devolve it, uh, just because. Uh, usually Despicable Dreadlord, you don't really care if that gets gets resurrected from the Death Knight. So, Farsight and Volcano. So I just choose the Volcano this. Not a big deal. Uh, we're going to stop the commentary around about 4.05 in the video. So if you want to skip... Actually, it'll be a bit later than that because I did a little introduction. But uh, four minutes and five seconds in the match, we're going to switch over to the match with me talking uh, from the stream. Oh, that's his uh, randomly generated taunt. It's not too bad for him because it does sort of um, play around another volcano if uh, he puts some more stats on the board. So I have to, I'm struggling to get rid of some cards in hand here. Hand's pretty full. Uh, I've still got a lot of devolves and hexes because of uh, the reactiveness of those cards. So I choose just to do heal rain for a couple of, uh, couple of health points. And uh, still waiting for our dude to even play like a void lord, sorry, a void caller uh, into a bigger demon. And uh, the Mountain Giant drop, drops, and that's uh, that's uh, potentially a hex. There's, I f believe, there's uh, uh, yeah, there's there's m m far too many stats there for a uh, a volcano, obviously. If you can do basic math, Th maths, maths. I'm not American. Maths, mathematics. You say you guys say math, right? You say math. That's weird, isn't it? Mathematics, maths, yeah. Weirdos. Finally, a coin nine drop, and it's a Malganus. It's a second hex, so I can get that darn hex out of my hand. 
uh, because I have no five drops in hand here. Uh, sorry, I, I've drawn both five drops, so there's no five drops popping out the deck. Uh, I need to get rid of some cards here, so I just, um, I think I just dropped the frog because I just need to create some hand space because eventually I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do Geppetto uh, with the double battle cry so I can draw four cards out the deck. So I'm just trying to empty the uh, the hand out a bit. And now we'll switch over to the actual game. Draw all of the combo pieces out. I believe. Yes, lad. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't beat that. You flip. I lost. Oh, did I? Oh, did I? Oh yeah, I did look. look. <laughs> I lost the flipping in grumble. I would have to draw on that order, wouldn't I? Or well, I can't. I can't win anyway by the. Um, I can't win by it via the shudder. I can win. However, via Stormbringer. No, it has to, it has to be Stormbringer. I mean, he's ill twisting never away, would he? I don't know. But I, no, I have to get some like six sticks, like sticky death roll minions, like some sexy ones. Like they gotta be sexy. Can they be sexy though? What sneeds? Just the full boards of sneeds. Yeah, that doesn't work. I got two uh, gel roses though. Imagine he doesn't have AOE. Or imagine he does. Imagine like Grazil sticks and he hasn't got twisted, never. Sorry. Imagine that happens. Like. Oh my god, was he? He was trying to set up. He was trying to set up for Godfrey. That was a Godfrey hit. Mm. But if he trades that in, he hasn't got a one. Oh! Uh, uh. Hellfire. Is that Hellfire Godfrey? Yeah, it's Hellfire. Go oh, no, it doesn't work! Oh, come on, lad! Come on! Oh, no, that works. Flip. Flipping. No. Why didn't you work? Wait! Wait! Ah! <laughs> oh, you tit! That's a shame. Think I don't want to do like that. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> it worked. Brilliant. Nah, I had enough damage on both there. Uh... 